When his own promising career was derailed due to injury as a freshman at the University of Arizona, Jared Forestieri had no idea the impact he would have years later on so many people. Find out how Jared has turned this facility into one of the top performance trading centers in New Jersey as we watch some of the state's best throw it down on this edition of On the Road. experience to strength and conditioning and I realized I was a little bit behind all the rest of my teammates. Uh, fast forward a couple years I had a shoulder surgery, actually two, and during the second shoulder surgery is when I started to really find my passion for strength and conditioning. So I changed my major over to exercise science and wanted to make sure that I helped um, any kid that I could, any way that I could to help them kind of stay out of the predicament that I was in with two surgeries. And I wanted to be that mentor for the younger generation. That's exactly what Jared has become. Working out of strong New Jersey in Hawthorne, Jared's crew includes guys ranging from high school to the pros. Emerging stars like St. Joseph's and Metuchen catcher Mark Luisi knew immediately that this was the right place for him to get better. Started coming to Jared in August. Was looking for a place to uh, start working out. This past summer, I didn't really lift during the summer season. I noticed some uh, that I lost some weight. So I uh, ended up just following Jared on Instagram, and he DM'd me, saying, "Hey, uh, want to come get a free workout here? And then maybe if you like it, start coming in regularly." That's exactly what I did. After the first time, fell in love with the place. The athletes, big family here. They welcomed me on uh, my first day here. And I've been here every day uh, ever since. Right-handed pitcher Dan Kiritsis is another example. The six foot seven, two hundred thirty-five pound man mountain is one of the top JUCO prospects in the country, according to PBR, and headed to a P5 program near you, or perhaps the MLB draft. He's had big-time fitness gains since working with Jared. My experience has been great. I lost twenty pounds of fat, gained lean muscle mass, became faster, throw much harder. Uh, Jared's a great guy, love him to death. He's tough, he's, uh, he can be tough, but he's a good guy, for sure. Fri Friday's the toughest days? Friday's the worst day. <laughs> gotta love it though, gotta get better, right? What do you guys, tell, tell me what you do on Fridays. Tell me your conditioning track that, that kills you. Uh, well, sometimes we put a ladder out, and we'll have to do uh, like certain drills to the ladder, and we do a push-up circuit at the end. That's the worst part, and then we'll get the sled out, we'll do sled suicides, sled back, so it's, so we're doing a drill right here where you're coming up out of like a catcher's squat position and then you're throwing it righty but me as a lefty hitter I like doing it lefty as well because I can feel it on the right side then I do it on the left side and I'm just trying to mimic the movements and it really it's, it's, it's really effective because you know I'm not a dominant lefty side player so when I'm doing it righty I can really feel it on my right side try to translate it to my left side I've been chairing at Jared's for about a year now. Uh, he does a lot of focusing on mobility and being as explosive as possible. A lot of the old training spots I went to was kind of just trying to get really big and it wasn't really what working for me. So this is a really good balance of strength, mobility, and explosiveness. So if you want to get better as a baseball player, it's the spot to be. So one of the things I see most with the high school kids is um, by the time they're in high school, uh, their mobility is a little bit lacking. So that's one thing that I would say is one of the more important things is mobility as far as for baseball guys, just separation of hips and shoulders. Can they control their hips? Can they control their shoulders as far as can they move one thing separate from the other? Um, another thing, even a bigger component that I would say they have to work on is the mental side of training and the mental side of the game. Slowing the game down, not letting the game get too big. And as far as their mentality in the weight room, bigger is not always better. I wanna make sure that our guys can move through space with load, with control, in and out of certain positions. The most rewarding part of doing this day to day is 
relationships that I build with the athletes and that they build with each other. Uh, while they're, they're all competing for, or not all of them are competing, but a lot of them are competing for uh, the same team, but they're all, they all want to see each other win. And that's a huge uh, atmosphere uh, builder that I've tried to uh, solidify in the gym here. Uh, everyone here is feeling the rooting for the guy next to them. And then also just seeing their little wins each and every day as far as you know, movement quality improving, uh, mobility improving, their strength is going up. So all those little things I take into consideration each day and do not take for granted. It's a big reason why I do what I do. For On the Road, this is Mike Olshin.